Now here's the here's some information for the C part. The number of calls received at a large call center has a Poisson distribution with mean 41 calls per five minute period. Use an approximating dis distribution to find the probability that the number of calls received in a five minute period is between 41 and 59 inclusive. Means we are going to include 59 but not 41. So it means it is going to be a Poisson distribution. Let's say it is X number of calls. Poisson distribution with lambda as 41. And we know in the Poisson distribution, this lambda is same as variance and mean. Mu is mean and sigma square is the variance. And we are going to approximate it. So we will approximate by the normal distribution. Let's take it as y. So y would be normal distribution with mean and variance as sigma square. And since here mu is going to be 41 and sigma square also it is going to be 41. So this become y is normally distributed with parameter 41 and 41. So now according to this the question become finding the probability of y greater than 41 and less than or equals to 59 because it is going to be inclusive. Now we have to be very careful because we are approximating a discrete Poisson distribution is discrete random variable by a continuous distribution. So we have to be uh, we have to use continuity correction and for continuity correction it's easy like if you are including the number you have to include the bar and if you are not including the number you not you will not include the bar. For instance what is the meaning of including the bar and all if it is 41 the previous would be 40. 0.5 and the next would be 41.5 and we are going in this direction because y is greater than 41 and it is 41 is not included so you leave this bar it means you are going away from 41.5 so it can be written as finding this probability where it is greater than 41.5 similarly if it is going to be 59 and then it is going to be 58.5 and here it is 59.5 and you are going in this direction and including the 59 means you have to include the whole bar whole bar means the mean the starting value would be 59.5 so it is going to be less than 59.5 and now we'll use the uh, normal standard normal distribution for it and then it is going to be z greater than 41.5 minus mean over standard deviation that is square root of 41 which is less than 59.5 sorry it is 59.5 minus mean that is 41 over standard deviation which is square root 41 now we will calculate this and its value till three decimal place is going to be z is greater than minus 0 0.078 and less than 2.889 and this is going to be probability of z less than 2.889 minus probability of z less than 0 minus 0 0.078 by the typical definition of probability like if we are finding the probability of x between a and b we write it as probability of x is less than b minus probability of x is less than a now we can see the graph we are finding let's say 0 0.289 z is less than that it is same as phi of 2.889 minus this this value is lying somewhere here left side of the mean because it's negative and we are getting this value and this value is corresponding to positive one but here so it is going to be one minus phi of this value so we can write it as one one minus phi of positive value of this 0 0.078 and hence it is 
will calculate this and this value is 0 0.9981 from the distribution table and minus 1 minus this value from the distribution table is 0 0.5311 so now we have all these values we will calculate this it is going to be minus into minus plus so we'll add them all and this is minus one so we'll minus subtract one and all together we got this value as 0 0.5292 that is 0 0.529 and that's the probability and that's it for this video we'll discuss the rest of the questions in the next videos till then thank you so much